Welcome to my channel where you find all about mixed media, art journaling, assemblage and anything else that sparks my interest. Hi, my name is Bea Grob and I'm glad you are here today. Hey folks, welcome to another collaboration for artists for seasons. Uh, you will find all the artists that are in this hub uh, down below in the description. Um, this time it is for spring fall not for spring i wanted to say spring but it is for fall anyway so i decided to play with my brand new large jelly plate <laughs> a good excuse to play around a little bit so as you can see here i have a lot of green and some yellow colors and i have some fancy tools i want to play First with acrylic paint and later on in a second part with um, watercolors. But I'm going to speed up the process. It's going to be a time lapse because otherwise it's going to be too long this video for after we have done all our background. We're going to upload it for every artist to use and then we're going to make an artwork whatever we want from this digital background. So with no further ado, I'm gonna dive in. I mean, jelly printing is, there are a lot of videos out there. It's just the way I play with it. So I hope you enjoy. Now that I'm done with printing with acrylic paint, I switched to the watercolor paints, but I use them rather in the tube than in the pans. And uh, you're gonna see, I also gonna need the sprayer to add additional water. Let's see what happens. To give the hole a little bit more interest, I'm gonna use up some rubbons, some broken rubbons, and some rubbons I think I don't want no longer. Again, I'm gonna do it in time lapse. I just want to give a little bit more interest to the background.
So uh, that is uh, from Gina Orange, that's mine, that's from Shell C, and that's from Peggy Robinson. Robinson sorry. As usual, you will find all the links down below in the description box, so don't forget to check out what they do. And no, they were bigger. I just did shrink them, just to show you, you don't always have to use it in the original size. You can shrink them and use it like what I do now for, for ATCs or whatever you are up to. For fall, I was thinking about um, Halloween also. And that's why I did grab my stamps. I do have, as you can see, some embossing ink here. I have embossing powder and i also gonna need some pale watercolor. I have a piece of a mixed media paper here. So the first thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do a, a lightly yellow background. That's an aqua Spectrum Noir, it's water soluble and I also gonna need a water brush preferably one with water in like this one yep uh, first thing I gonna do uh, actually I gonna spray it I want really a light application of yellow you probably can barely see it I just don't want it plain white Now, before you go in with the embossing powder or with the embossing ink, you have to make sure that it is really dry. Otherwise, the embossing powder is going to stick on the still wet areas. I also grabbed some fun foam to make it a little bit uh, better impression. And now I'm going to... make two skeletons and two mummies. I usually have um, a black background, so those are 2.5 by 3.5. I cut, just kind of like this border around, so I'm gonna cut those to 2 1 quarter by 3 1 quarter. To glue all the things together I use tacky glue, but you certainly could use other stuff too. Now I think with some of those cards I have to add a little bit white gesso, just so they don't get lost. Now, I want to add more stuff to it. And the other thing I want to do is give them a little bit of dimension. So I do use this uh, ballpoint tool. And I'm gonna use a foam tape 
so to rise them up a little bit. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope to see you soon again. And by the way, if anyone is interested in trading, just contact me. You can find me on Facebook uh, on the Bear Group, Mixed Media and more. I love to trade artist trading cards. Hope to see you soon. Take care.